Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and in Chicago, a bunch of basically rampaging scum. They're Black Lives Matter, they're illegals, and just rampaging scum. They got so obstreperous that Donald Trump was forced to cancel his rally. Now, what I'm wondering is, is this going to be a new tactic on the left? is to swarm his uh, rallies and force him to go elsewhere. This is getting out of hand. You know, we're... Mr. Trump just arrived in Chicago and after meeting with law enforcement is determined that for the safety of all tens of thousands of people that have gathered in and around the area tonight, tonight's rally will be postponed until another date. Thank you very much for your attendance. Please go in peace, he said. A spokesperson for the Chicago Police Department tells ABC 7 Eyewitness News that the Chicago Police Department did, talk, did not talk to talk to the Trump campaign to tell them to cancel the event. And the first police heard was 6.30 p.m. when they were notified by UIC and Secret Service and the event had been canceled. And I don't know what UIC is. In a statement from UIC Police Chief Kevin Booker, he said the University of Illinois at Chicago worked with all appropriate agencies to address security concerns associated with an event of this nature, including the Secret Service, Chicago Police Department, and Illinois State Police, as well as campaign protest organizers. The vast majority of attendance, attendees at today's events exercise their constitutional rights. That is a lie. They were rampaging scum. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. And of free speech and free assembly peacefully. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. An abrupt announcement of the cancellation of the event created challenges in managing an orderly exit from the pavilion, which nonetheless was accomplished with no arrests or injuries. Yeah, that's the problem is there were no arrests. So, if you uh, look at Hillary cross-eyed, you go, you wind up in the big house. And but apparently these rampaging illegals, Black Lives Matters, and so forth, some of them were in, wearing uh, sombreros and mocking Trump, apparently. For all of us who cherish the ideals from which our well, this is from uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel, which uh, tells you a lot. He is a slime, basically. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel issued a statement saying, For all, all of those who cherish the ideals upon which our country is founded, the hateful, divisive rhetoric that pits Americans against each other demeans our democratic values, and diminishes our democratic process. That is incredible bullshit. That is bullshit. These were rampaging scum. I want to thank the men and women of the Chicago Police Department for their hard work tonight and unexpected circumstances and their continued commitment to protecting people's First Amendment rights. Oh, brother. One cop got injured by the uh, rampaging scum. No, this is not a First Amendment thing. They uh, were rampaging scum. They're causing trouble. So, let's take a look at I have one more site to show you. Hold on. Okay, uh, this is from AP. 
Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump canceled one of his signature rallies on Friday, calling off that safety concerns after protesters packed the arena where he was scheduled to speak. No, they're rampaging scum. The announcement doing their business and men would postpone the rally that led to a large portion of the crowd from University of Illinois at Chicago Pavilion to break out into raucous cheers. Many rushed on the floor jumping up and down with their arms in the air. Trump represents everything America is not and everything Chicago is not, said Cameron Siddiqui, 20, a student in stu- school who was among those celebrating. That is That is incredible bullshit. Bullshit. We came here and we wanted to shut this down, which you did in your rampaging piece of human debris. Because this is a great city and we don't want to let that person in here. Well, right there you have it. Some were, uh, now what was somebody saying about First Amendment rights? They don't have the right to do this. Some supporters of the Republican frontrunners started chanting, We want Trump, we want Trump, in response to celebrations. There were some isolated physical confrontations between members of the crowd. Chicago police said, said they made some arrests. It's a shame, said Tr- Trump supporter Bill Tail, 43, of the Chicago suburb of Oak Lawn. They scream about tolerance but are being intolerant themselves. That doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, yes sir, it does make sense. They are leftist pink commies who hate freedom. They hate this country. They hate everything about it. And they're there to disrupt their election. As Trump attempts to Unify a fractured Republican Party ahead of next week's slate of winner take all primary elections. Confrontations from between his legion of supporters and protesters who accuse him of stoking racial hatred have become increasingly contentious, underscoring concerns about the divisive nature of his candidacy. No, these are scum that want to. Uh, interfere in the elective process. That's what this amounts to. And then it goes on to talk about some of the problems that have occurred in other places. Boy, this is getting nasty. Um, if you think this wasn't an organized thing, you're sadly mistaken. The left is going to try to use just vicious, vicious tactics to stop Trump from ever reaching the White House. From here on in, it gets dirtier and dirtier. I guarantee you. I fear for his safety, to be honest with you. I never really liked the guy, but he's the best one for the job, by far. And... I have to support him. It's not a, it's not my personally liking him or anything, but I have to support him because he is the best one for the job by far, and I think he would do a great job in the White House. But the left is going to use uh, nasty tactics like this to try to stop him. This is getting out of hand, and I don't know what the solution is. As a matter of fact, Mars, thanks for watching.